Welcome. Welcome to Bible Stories for Kids. Today's featured story is The Boy Whose Dreams Came True. Joseph? Joseph was the youngest in his family. Do you see him? He's right there. His father, Jacob, treated him differently than the older brothers by giving him special attention and gifts. The brothers, the brothers were very jealous of him because they knew, they knew Joseph was their father's favorite. When Joseph, when Joseph was still young, God gave him a dream. I wonder, I wonder what he dreamt about. He dreamt that one day his whole family would bow down to him as as people bow down to mighty rulers. When he told his brothers about the dream, they said, Do you really? Do you really think you are going to rule over us? And guess what, guys? They hated him even more. Oh, no. One day, Joseph was sent to check on his brothers as they were working. When they saw him coming, they said, Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of the boy dreamer once and for all. They threw him, they threw him in a dried up well and began to leave. Then they saw a bunch of traders coming and it decided to sell Joseph as a slave. Oh, everything is going so terribly wrong for Joseph. When Joseph got to Egypt, he was bought by a powerful man named Potiphar. That's him. God, God never left Joseph. He was with Joseph the whole time. And Potiphar noticed that Joseph was successful in everything he did. Because Joseph always did his best and worked hard, Potiphar put Joseph in charge of everything he owned. Isn't that amazing? However, when Potiphar's wife accused Joseph of doing something he had not done, Potiphar, Potiphar threw Joseph in prison. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So first Joseph gets sold off by his brothers and now, now he's in jail. Two years later, the Egyptian king who was called Pharaoh had a strange and frightening dream which he didn't really understand. One of Pharaoh's servants told him about an imprisoned slave, an imprisoned slave who could tell people what their dreams meant. That was Joseph. Joseph was brought to the palace immediately. Once again, God gave Joseph the wisdom to understand dreams. There were, there were seven fat cows and seven full grains in your dream, said Joseph. So. There will be seven years with plenty of food in Egypt. Then came seven skinny cows and seven thin heads of grain. So there will be seven years of famine after that. Joseph advised Pharaoh to store up some food for the good years to eat when the bad years would come. Wow! Pharaoh Pharaoh liked Joseph's idea so much that he put Joseph in charge of storing food during the seven good years. After a while, when the famine had begun, Joseph's ten older brothers, you remember them, came to buy food too. They didn't recognize Joseph, and they bowed down to him, just like Joseph had seen them do in his dream when he was a little boy. Joseph was really, really surprised to see them, but he pretended, he pretended he didn't know who they were. He wanted to find out if they really were still as mean as before, or if they were sorry for what they had done to him. He said, if you are good people and not spies, bring your youngest brother here too. On their return, they brought their younger brother, Benjamin. There he is. When they all bowed down to him again, Joseph couldn't contain himself any longer. It's me, Joseph. I am your brother, he cried and hugged each of them. You sold me as a slave, Joseph continued, but God, God made me second in command. 
second in command means that right underneath the Pharaoh, he was the one in charge, the second most important person in the land. Joseph, Joseph forgave his brothers for what they had done. And he said, you wanted to harm me, but God turned it into a good thing. He sent me here to save all of our lives. Wow, how amazing is that? And that, that is our amazing Bible story about the boy whose dreams came true. I'm so happy that you were here. If you want to hear some more Bible stories read out loud, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!